Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with UFC bantamweight champion Ronda Rousey, and nominated for four awards tonight. How excited are you about that? Um, I'm pretty excited. Not as excited as I am for being this tall. I feel like an Amazon next to you. Can you even reach up here? No, I have heels on too. That's what's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting altitude training from this interview. <laughs> <laughs> so you're over uh, probably with the uh, Diaz brothers working on anything there this uh, camp for coming up for Liz Carmouche? Um, not this camp so much. Uh, I, we're kind of doing our own thing and running out a uh, gym and a house up in Big Bear and doing that. We're bringing people in. You know, they got their own huge fight coming up. So, you know, we can't. I think one of the reasons why so many MMA fighters get injured is that a lot of people do their fight camps together. Whereas, like, say, boxers, they take their fight camp and center it all around one person. So I'm kind of spoiled like that. I like my whole, it's all about me. I want my fight camp to be about me. So, you know, tonight is all about you. You can possibly. <laughs> get like four awards and clean up that's historical you're making history everywhere with HBO I hear you have a new thing coming up with that can you tell us about that uh, yeah you know they're, they're following around and doing a feature and hopefully it'll turn out really really well I know that they've been a lot very hesitant to cover MMA in the past and I hope that this is like them genuinely being interested in wanting to cover it and not them trying to poke fun at us so uh, we'll see I'm keeping my fingers crossed they seem to be very very nice and yeah speaking of Speaking of very, very nice, Liz Carmouche kind of killing you on Twitter with the kindness. What are your thoughts on that? She's smart. She's one clever chick. Yeah, for sure. Um, like we, we had to do stare downs for the promo and stuff. And if someone tries to get in my face or something, it, it hypes me up. But she was very, very much the opposite. She's extremely sweet. And um, I'm definitely still going to take her, see if her and her girlfriend want to go surfing okay. after the fight, nice. regardless of the outcome. But I'm going to win. All first round, all nine wins. It's uh, probably not far from the truth that you can probably take another on bar home. I hope so. All right. Well, thank you, Rhonda. Best of luck tonight. I know you got to hustle on, so thank you. Thank you. Rhonda Rousey, so you won Female Fighter of the Year. How does that feel? Uh, it feels fantastic. I just, uh, it, it's just funny. I swore to myself last year that I was going to win it the next year, so. Um, it was the first time me and Misha ever interacted with the backstage and actually shook her hand. I said I was much nicer in person. It was before she really started taking things personal. And then after that, I guess um, we weren't going to be friends. But, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's much different than last year, and I appreciate it. It's, very, it's nice to win for once. Would you ever entertain a rematch with Misha? Oh, yeah, I would love to do that. I mean, I mean, she already got broke off, and she's still talking, so obviously she needs it again. Tell me about the pin that you have there. Um, you're wearing a blue pin, and I wasn't sure what that was. I've seen a lot of the people oh. coming in wearing it. It's an Autism Speaks pin. It's a support for everybody dealing with autism. And uh, when I was a kid, a lot of people thought I was autistic. I didn't talk at all, and I walked only on my tiptoes. And my mom was a developmental psychologist, so she was so sure, you know. And uh, I, I think it's a really important issue that need, people need to be aware of. I heard that your mom and uh, her step, her father was uh, stepfather was like a rocket scientist or something. I was reading an article about them and what they do. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, my, my stepdad just retired. He was working for Raytheon and he is a rocket scientist. And my mom is, you know, PhD in psychology and also a world-renowned statistician. And they're making an interactive video game for kids that have trouble with math, to, like teach the math. So it's like a 3D like landscape, everything. Then um, you know, kids play Call of Duty all day for hours and hours and hours and hours. And they learn all these stuff. It's, you just need to make it fun, and so it's a way to make learning math fun for kids that really can't get it out of a classroom environment. Great. Okay. Well, thank you, and best of luck on the rest of the awards tonight. Oh, thank Thanks, you.